Hello everybody and welcome back to another satisfactory video and today we're going to be talking about the big statues mod, what you can do with the mod, how to use the mod, everything about the big statues mod, and we're also going to be determining whether I can give this mod the medal of satisfaction which is a ranking system that I made for all the mods that I'm going to be reviewing and I'm actually pretty excited to start implementing it so let's get started. So firstly, I want to mention that this ranking system that I made up is mostly opinion based. I have a few facts by a couple categories in the ranking system, but it's mostly just opinion based. So I just wanted to get that out there right away so that you know that this isn't all factual, just straight up evidence. Now let's get started with the mod. So what is the big statues mod? Um, so the big statues mod is just a mod that makes all the small trophy statues that you can unlock in the game 16 times larger and it makes them buildable in the special the uh, special section of the building menu so you can build every statue that's in the awesome shop in the special build menu right here and I'll show you so here's all the statues in the awesome shop and they're the exact same price which is kind of silly because they're like way bigger but i think it's it makes sense so what can you do with this big statues mod well uh you can make big statues and use them as decoration like you would use a regular statue uh me personally i'm gonna use them in one of my future builds for my, one of my bigger factories and i'm gonna use them i'm gonna implement the big statues into my support structures for my big factory and I think it's gonna look really cool you can use it however you want and however you think you'll like how it looks let's talk about each individual statue now so now I know the creator of this mod didn't make the statues but I think that within the mod he could have made some adjustments to the statues when he was making them larger uh, now I don't write code or anything so I don't know if that would have been extremely more difficult than what he, he or she had already done but my main issue with any of the statues except for like these three right here and this one so these four statues are all perfectly fine they line up nice and centered with any foundation that you use and they're clean and they, they just fit really well in any type of build now, as for the hog statue, the lizard doggo statue, and the confusing creature, or Mr. Bean statue, um, the Mr. Bean statue less so, uh, because it, it fits perfectly on a foundation, uh, just is really freaking absurdly big, and that kind of bothers me, but it makes sense, because Mr. Bean is very large. Now, with the lizard doggo, it's kind of, if, here, if I take him and put him on a regular foundation, it, it can't really... It's either it's a little bit too far forward or a little bit too far back and there's no real center and I think that if the mod creator could have adjusted that to make it so that it would have been perfect been able to be perfectly centered uh, that would have been really awesome but you could more than likely do that with the micromanagement mod which is a, another mod that this mod this big statues mod is compatible with and the content creator of this Big Statues mod actually recommends that you get micromanagement with this mod because he or she claims that it is it makes the mod better. Now with the Silver Hog statue, uh, this statue is just kind of stupid all in all. It's really not even the content creator, the mod, excuse me, the mod creator's fault. Uh, it's just personally not a very appealing statue to me and I just don't like how it's shaped and I, yeah, so I mean, I, I just don't like it. In general. Now as for the pioneering statues, as I mentioned before, and the golden nut statue, those are all perfect. They can center extremely well on any type of foundation and they just fit really well and I like them and they, they just look nice. So that covers each individual statue and that covers the majority of the mod. This is actually a really small mod, but now I want to go into the ranking of the categories. There are exactly 10 categories each category is 11 points. Each mod I review has to score an 80% overall score after reviewing each category 
to achieve the Medal of Satisfaction. Now, let's get into the review here for the categories. Okay, so the first category is Ease of Use, and I gave this an 11 out of 11 because it's completely and utterly built into the game. You can copy and paste any of the statues that you want to make, and it implements every statue in the game, and it's just, it's super easy. You download it and it's ready to go. You just have to unlock it from the hub tier 3, and it costs 50 coupons to unlock. So I thought that, in my opinion, that's an 11 out of 11, because it's super easy to use. Now, the second category is, what is its quality of life level? Now, I gave it a 4 out of 11, because it doesn't really affect the quality of life in the game. It doesn't really, at least in my opinion, it doesn't really make the game more fun to play or add any like additional, true additional content to the game. Now, I didn't want to give it too low of a score, so I gave it 4, because it's still, for the most part, fun, and it adds a little bit of cool additional joy to to my gaming experience with the game. Now the third category is the user interface and how simple or complicated or messy it is. Um, now this, this mod does not really have a user interface at all so I gave it a 11 out of 11 because it's completely in integrated into the game and the game menu and I thought that that was super slick and I like it a lot. The next category is upkeep, and by upkeep I mean how often is the mod updated and how often does it need to be updated, and I think that it deserves a 6 out of 11, but I gave it 9 points because the game hasn't been, or the mod has not been updated in a while, but I also didn't think that it really needed to be updated very often because it's pretty simply implemented, so I, I think it deserved a little more points than just 6 because it's not fair to say that a mod hasn't been updated in a while, but it doesn't need an update. The next category is compatibility, and I gave this mod an 11 out of 11, because it doesn't affect the game negatively in any way, and it is actually compatible with just about every single mod that I am aware of, and it's extra compatible with, micro, with the micromanagement mod, and it's actually recommended by the mod creator that you download it to make the mod better. So I think that deserves an 11 out of 11. The next category is future inclusion. And by that, I mean how likely is it for the developers of the game to implement it into the game. Now, I gave this mod a 6 out of 11 because in my personal opinion, I don't think it's likely that the developers of the game would be really all that interested in implementing a mod like this into the game, but I could be wrong. Uh, I don't know the developers, I'm not the developers, so I don't know how interested they would be in implementing this kind of a mod into the game, but I personally don't think it's all that likely. I'd give it a 50-50 shot. Now the next category is multiplayer compatibility, and I probably could include this into compatibility overall, but I like to keep it separate. And this is kind of just a yes or a no answer, and of course this mod gets an 11 out of 11 for it because it is compatible with multiplayer. Now, if it was not compatible, it would have only gotten a 1 out of 11 because it, this is just a yes or no, is it multiplayer compatible or is it not multiplayer compatible? Alright, the next category is popularity and or likability. Now, I have a bit of a calculation that I do with this part of the mod review. I take, <clears throat> I open up Satis Satisfactory Mod Manager, which I should be able to show you this here, right here. Here it is. All right. Now what I do is, that's the Smart Mod, I'll be doing a review on that later. So I take the Big Statues Mod, and then I take the Views versus the Downloads. Now this was actually a lot lower when I looked at it. Before I recorded my video, this was at like 7,200 and this was still around 79,000. But what I do is I take this, these two numbers and I take the views, excuse me, the downloads divided by the views to find the view to download ratio and then multiply it by 100. And then I compare that to compatible mods here. I compare that to, I go here in popularity. And I compare, I compare the view to download ratio to the top five 
popular mods, but I also compare it to the top five least popular mods. And then I find the average of the view to download ratio for the top five and uh, bottom five popularity mods. And I compare the percentage to the average view to download ratio. And then based upon that and its ranking in the popularity sort by and hotness sort by, which Big Statue's mod placed middle ground in one of the two and a little less than middle ground in the other one. I don't remember which was which, but based on that, I decided to give it a 5 out of 11 because its view to download ratio was only 9.7% and the average between the bottom 5 and top 5 that I found was about 20. So I thought that a 9.7% was kind of low, but also based on its hotness and popularity category search, it placed kind of middle ground to low end. So I gave it mostly a middle ground rating, 5 out of 11. The next category is usefulness and or helpfulness. And for this mod, I gave it a 8 out of 11 because it's really useful for making things look pretty. But other than that, it's not really all that useful other than, you know, just multiplying the size of the statues and... In my personal opinion, I think they look amazing. But other than that, it's not all that great at doing really anything else. But that's what it was made to do. So, I only gave it an 8 out of 11. Now, the final category, and personally, I believe the best achieving category for this mod is aesthetics. How aesthetically pleasing is this mod? And I gave it a 12 out of 11 because it, I personally just think these ginormous statues are just fucking amazing. I love them. I think they're awesome because they're just so freaking big and they can match up with a mega factory and they just fit really well in large areas like this one. I just think it works. Now, I really, really, really wanted to give this mod the Medal of Satisfaction, but if I were to just base it off of each category for this mod, it would only get a 88 out of 111, which is like 79%. So I decided to add a extra little category to my mod reviews, and that is the How Much Do I Like It review. And I gave it a 100 out of 111 because I personally just love this mod. And there's just a couple nitpicky things that I really personally think that could have been adjusted, but isn't the mod developer's fault because of the developers of Satisfactory and how they made the statues. But my overall likeness of the mod is 100 out of 11. The overall score is 188 out of 222. And that's 84.68%. Don't mind my dog, she's kind of pissing me off. And at an 84.68%, that is above 80%. And I decided to give it to give it the Medal of Satisfaction. 84.68%. That's that's pretty close. If you enjoyed this mod review, go ahead and give me a subscribe for more mod reviews like this. I did make this ranking category ranking system all on my own. I got a little bit of help from some other people, but I believe that it's uh, I tried to include the more important things of what I believe is important in a mod. And I truly do just love this mod, and I, I just think that it's really amazing. But like I said, if you enjoyed this mod review, go ahead and give me a subscribe. But that's all for now. I'll see you in the next video. Peace!